Arizona. A Valley Health Club chain is now suing the state over the governor's new executive order aimed at stopping the spread of the virus. Governor Doug Ducey's new executive order shuts down gyms, bars, movie theaters, water parks, and tubing for the next month, as we now see nearly 75,000 cases and 1,600 deaths in Arizona. The governor is also delaying the start of school. And I'm asking every Arizonan to, to do their part. I mean, as we know more about this, it really makes sense that this idea of physical distancing, of washing your hands, of staying at home where you are safer, can make the difference in terms of, of slowing this spread. But tonight, a Valley CEO of a health club chain is suing and saying that his doors will stay open. Team 12's Bianca Bono joins us live with the late breaking details. Bianca. Yeah, guys, the CEO of Mountainside Fitness says he got no heads up before the governor's announcement. He's fired up and is filing a lawsuit against the state. We are going to be open tomorrow. Hours after Governor Doug Ducey announcing a new executive order forcing gyms to close by 8 p.m. Monday, Mountainside Fitness CEO Tom Hatton says no. We have filed suit against the governor. I have partners in the health club industry that will be joining the suit. Hatton says Mountainside's more than a dozen locations and 1,500 employees across the valley shut down back in March and prior to reopening two months later, making changes to account for cleanliness and social distancing. We've taken this situation, this virus, extremely seriously. Jim's not the only industry impacted. The governor's order also forcing bars, movie theaters, water parks and tubing to close for a month. Governor Ducey also pushing back the school year, hoping for an August 17th start date. Monica White, a single mom with a full time job and two kids, not happy. It's almost impossible. Um, I'm afraid for my children, you know, when they do actually go back to school, about how far behind that they might get. Teachers eager to get back too, but Joe Thomas, president of the Arizona Education Association, says they're concerned for their safety and believes the focus should be on online learning. They're going to take home whatever they picked up at school um, to their own families and their students are going to do the same thing. Now, as coronavirus cases continue to climb, a new executive order takes effect, one that Hatton believes singles out businesses. If the governor is serious about what is going on, then I say to Governor Ducey, close everything. And Hatton says he hopes to ask Arizona courts for a stay. As for enforcement, the governor says individual law enforcement agencies are responsible for issuing warnings or citations to businesses that violate his order. We're in Scottsdale, Bianca Bono, 12 News.